just picked up a couple more uh, riders. My buddy Roger and uh, one of his uh, colleague uh, colleagues at work. And we're just gonna see if uh, Fidel is around. So we're gonna go to, uh, we used to be inseparable, myself, Roger and Fidel. As, uh, as young kids and, uh, and teenagers in this area. Not bad kids, but definitely, uh, you know, be some nice views over here as we head towards the National Park. to come here both my buddy Roger and I had shadow 750s in the 85 uh, 90 uh, period we were uh, about 16 years old 17 18 years old 
My dad and I used to come fishing here. populated before it became a national park so you can still see uh, you know uh, house foundations and that kind of stuff I think you can see where my maybe great 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 grandfather that sort of thing um, so um, my brother will be coming in a couple days my brother and sister and we'll certainly be reminiscing and then talking a bit more about that stuff. This is uh, kind of like the northern tip of Cape Breton. This this Cabot Trail goes around uh, for a good amount of time, uh, so it's full of fantastic views. Scotia. So we'll take uh, another, uh, you know, five or so minute video, and then I'll edit them all together as uh, for a 10 or 15 minute uh, video, doing a part of the Cabot Trail with my uh, my childhood buddy Roger and one of his uh, work colleagues.
a teenager I worked here blasting the uh, blasting the rocks it was basically a project to uh, a project to um, I think basically to clean up and to, to, to force some of the rocks to, uh, to, to, to drop off as the erosion uh, makes them uh, you know fall on the roads in the top of the mountain going down the mountain here. I'm not going to sing the song. No, I ain't. It's another very scenic part of uh, the Cabin Trail. the Appalachian Mountains.
heading down there to Pleasant Bay. And we'll see some nice nice sceneries here. <coughs> some of the guys from Pleasant Bay would come to our school in Shetty Camp, uh, I think from junior high. And us being a French uh, French part and them not, uh, they were always looked upon as being a little bit rugged and tough. Many of us, many of us had run-ins with some of the folks from Pleasant Bay growing up, but uh, they're the nicest people. And these days, you know, when you get older, there's no grudges and uh, most of the guys are super great guys. Look up here. 